Today I'm going to share with you how I lost a stone in a month and I'm also going to give you some tips that may help if you want to lose weight as well. So if you want to find out, keep on watching. Hi guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how I lost a stone in a month and how much I actually lost overall in about 12 weeks. I think before we start, it's important to get a kind of background overall. I've always been overweight. I think I remember I started dieting when I was in year nine, which I think is around 13, 14 years old, and I am now 35. So I've always dieted and I've always been overweight, but I've always managed to keep my weight under control until I had my kids. I have four kids, by the way. My oldest is going to be 13 this year and the youngest is three. So since I've been my kids, I haven't managed to keep my weight under 90 kg. And my heaviest, I have been 127 kg. That was last year. That's when I did the water fasting. For those of you that haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere up here or here so that you can watch my experience of water fasting for 40 days. So at my heaviest, I was 127 kg. And I got down to around 112 last year, but I did gain the weight back. It took me about 10 months to gain the weight back. So I started off this year, like everyone else, making a New Year's resolution, but I really didn't start my weight loss journey until around March. So at the start of March, I was 126.6 kg, and now I have gone down to 115.4 kg something like that. So I've lost about 11 kg, but a stone of that, which is about six and a half kg, came off in the first month. And what I have been doing is I have been doing a low carb diet. Not keto, I haven't been doing keto, I've been doing low carb, but I have been eating six times a day, every two and a half hours to three hours. I've had three meals and three snacks, and at least protein with every single meal. I have been eating this way seven days a week, with no cheat meals. So for breakfast, I would have things like an egg and one slice of toast. For lunch and dinner, it would usually be some kind of protein and then a vegetable or salad. And the snacks will be protein snacks. So it'll be yogurt, it'll be a protein bar, it would be cheese, um, that kind of thing. So that's what I have been doing for the past 12 weeks and it seems to be working for me. I haven't been doing extreme low carb. I haven't stayed under 20 grams of carbs. I have stayed around 50 to 80 grams of carbs. I have allowed myself to eat fruit, wholemeal bread, sweet potato. I haven't really been eating brown rice because I found me and brown rice just kind of don't get along. We need kind of a long distance relationship. So I haven't been eating rice, but I have been eating some carbs. So this hasn't been a no carb diet, it's just been a low carb diet. And not even a low, low, low carb diet. I've stayed around 50 to 80 grams of carbs, like I said. That's really what I've been doing, and that's what's enabled me to lose a stone in a month, and overall, nearly two stone in three months. So now I'm gonna share with you five tips that may help you if you are on a weight loss journey. Number one is to change your mindset. This is something that I did before I even started my diet. I decided that this time around, that I was going to be on a journey to health for life. And I finally made up my mind. For me, I was tired of the yo-yo dieting. Like I said, I've been dieting since I was like 13 years old. I got tired of gaining weight, losing weight. I think me and my sister was talking about it a few months ago. It just dawned on us that the type of bodies we have, we need to be exercising and managing our weight for the rest of our lives. So I finally made my mind up that I am going to do this for life. So number one is really to get your mindset right and to try and understand what motivates you. Why is it you want to be on a weight loss journey? Why is it you want to get healthy? Get your mindset right, decide, commit. I know that I am gonna do this for the long haul. So whether it takes me six months, nine months, a year to lose the extra weight, I'm not gonna stop. I had 
given myself a year to lose the weight. I will see how much I lose at the end of the year. But you really need to make up your mind and understand why is it that you want to begin this journey. Number two is research and plan. I have been dieting all my life, like I said, and I have tried a lot of different diets. I've tried the good old fashioned calorie counting. I've tried low fat. I've tried the cabbage soup diet. I've tried total meal replacements. I was on Cambridge diet for about three months. I've tried Azante. I've tried Lighter Life. I've tried the keto diet. I lasted a couple weeks on that. I tried Atkins. I tried the juice diet. So I have tried a lot and lot of diets. And from my experience, I knew that whatever it is that I wanted to do, it had to be something that I could sustain for a long time and for me I chose low carb because I knew I would be able to still have a little bit of carbs, a little bit of fruit, my protein, my vegetables. So you need to be able to research and find out what it is you like, what it is you don't like, what kind of diets out there, eating plans that you think that you can sustain for a long time and most importantly what kind of diet or eating plan that you are going to enjoy because if you really want to succeed you kind of have to make this a lifestyle I know everybody says the lifestyle lifestyle but that is the only way to make something last forever is just to make it part of your life so you need to do your research you can google things of course you can take your past experience you can follow people on instagram i found a lot of accounts on instagram that follow low carbs or keto i'm not doing keto but i feel like i can still get inspiration from keto what i did was i researched all the foods that i wanted to eat the effects of low carb i researched different recipes desserts and you know just research and really plan they say fail to plan plan to fail don't they so i think once you have a structure of what you want to do it's easier to then follow something if you know exactly what you want to do number three is to track your progress i think this really helped me because i made myself a daily diary i just made it up on a kind of word document and on that daily diary i take note of not just what i've had for breakfast lunch dinner and snacks i also keep account of how much water i'm drinking on average i was drinking about three liters of water a day my bowel movements uh if i was in ketosis or not i also keep account of my mindset and how i'm feeling any achievements i've had and i also write down positive affirmation I I think it's really important to keep a track of your progress so you don't need to do anything fancy you can just get a notebook and just write down like I said I made myself a little um, kind of diary I will link that below so you can check it out if you want to other than keeping a diary of my thoughts and food and etc I also tracked my progress in five ways number one was I weighed myself now I weighed myself daily if you don't have the best relationship with the scale don't weigh yourself daily daily I don't have a problem with the scale so I weighed myself daily um I think I'm I'm the sort of person that likes to tick things off likes to track things so I don't mind weighing myself daily and because I already had number one sorted which was my mindset I knew I made the decision I'm gonna do this whether I lose weight gain weight whether I stay the same I'm going to lose this so for me weighing myself every single day it didn't really bother me and there were weeks where I didn't lose any weight or there were weeks where I gained a little bit of weight but like I said for me it didn't really bother me number two is measurements I took my measurements once a week and I measured my bust my waist my lower abs my arms, my hips, my thighs, and my calves. The third way is through pictures. Sometimes because we're in our own body, we don't really get to see our progress because it's us. But when you have something in front of you, like a picture, you're more likely to notice things. The fourth way is through video. I actually prefer video than pictures because with video, you actually get to see kind of a live version of yourself. And the fifth one is called non-scale victories. That means you, you see, how are your clothes fitting? Do your clothes fit better? Are your clothes getting looser? How do you feel? Are you more energetic? Are you getting out of breathless? That kind of thing. Those are the methods that I use to track my progress and I really think this has helped me just to keep going day by day because I'm able to see my progress from day one when I started till like 12 weeks later so track your progress it will really really help number four is an acronym that I use which is KISS now normally it's keep it simple to 
stupid, but I don't like the word stupid. <laughs> and because my name is Sandy, I say keep it simple, Sandy. That means don't try and complicate things. In the beginning, when you research things and you find sort of the best food to eat, the leanest food to eat, and you end up doing a big supermarket shop, you wanna get all of the leanest foods, you wanna have like your fridge stocked. But what I found that really worked for me was just to keep it simple, just to pick food that you actually like. So for me, I keep it very simple. I rotate the same food over and over again. I mean, most of us eat the same foods without even knowing that we are. So I have about four proteins that I like to eat, four vegetables and a couple of carbs and a couple of other things. My main sources of protein are chicken. I also choose low fat minced beef. I think this is really great because you can make burgers, you can make meatballs, you can also just fry it. I also like pork belly and catfish. Those are kind of my protein. With vegetables, I keep it also very simple. I like spinach, green beans, and obviously salad. And then for the carbs, for me, it's whole grain bread and then sweet potato. So those are kind of the foods that I rotate. I keep it very simple. I don't try to complicate it. I don't try to do complicated recipes. I think that's really helped me just to keep going. I'm just eating the foods that I actually enjoy and I actually like. Number five is to be patient with yourself and take it one day at a time. The first five days of a low carb diet were absolutely horrible. I had headaches, I felt like I was going to faint but I didn't faint. It was so so bad and the only thing that pulled me through was just taking it one day at a time. I wasn't thinking about tomorrow, I wasn't thinking about the next week, the next month. I literally just took it day by day. I knew okay what do I have to eat today, how much water do I want to get in today, what are my snacks today etc etc. With me I concentrated just on the nutrition so I didn't exercise uh, throughout these 12 weeks. All I did was just concentrate on eating the right foods. Just take it day by day and take it one step at a time. So those were my five tips that helped me to lose weight during these 12 weeks. If you found them helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. Put a comment down below if you are on a weight loss journey and also subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.